is here's a hive I had that was empty so I threw some mothballs in it hoping to preserve it and as you can see these disgusting little creatures are everywhere from the mothballs have not slowed them down at all at all and all I can smell is mothballs when I open this up apparently it didn't phase them one bit because there are so many worms in here all of this will have to be cleaned and thrown away there goes one right there trying to find a dark spot to get out of the sun they're everywhere wax moths all right, you wouldn't think that a worm or a moth could do that kind of damage, but let's just take a look at what they did to this wood right here. This is wax moth. It looks like I got my pocket knife out and whittled it down. Absolutely insane, the damage that these little bastards can do. Insane. Alright, like I said before, this was an abandoned hive. I left it, loaded it with crap load of mothballs. When I opened it up, all I could smell was mothballs. But as you can see, it had absolutely zero, zero effect at deterring these little sons of bitches. I gotta clean all this crap out now. It's just frame after frame of disgustingness. Look at that. They don't seem to care one iota that I put mothballs in here. In fact, that's all I can smell right now is mothballs. And you can see it didn't slow them down at all. Just disgustingness all gonna have to be scraped off cleaned up there's worms everywhere cocoons everywhere wood shavings everywhere because they eat the wood and leave wood shavings you can see them scurrying across the pavement down there they don't like that 104 degree pavement die you little bastards I can't believe this oh my god so much webs I thought, I really thought this would be okay with all the mothballs that I put in there. But all this stuff you see here, this is the webs they leave behind and all the little black dots is their feces. The white thing are their cocoons where the worms turn into moths. You can see right here, ones came out of there. There's a little worm crawling along. He'll die in a minute from the heat. All of this, all of this is gonna to have to be thrown away. You can see I'm starting to suffer, I'm trying to come out now. So let this be a lesson to ye. Mothballs are not the answer. They are not the answer, which it's kind of weird because I thought that was the whole point of mothballs. But you can see right here, here's a good example of what they do to the wood. See how they've just grooved all of that wood and left horrible grooves. And they've just lined up their cocoons side by side by side. And, uh, yeah. I don't have much problems at all with hive beetles or really any pest at all. The only thing that drives me absolutely insane is wax moss. I fight them more than I fight anything else. The amount of comb I've had to throw away from wax moss is insane. I, 
I put everything I could think of. I just don't get it. I mean, they are really, really tenacious. It's probably, I think it's 102 right now, maybe 103 degrees. It's gonna be that way all week. And uh, this is not what I wanted to be standing outside doing. You can see these guys falling down onto the pavement and dying. As soon as they hit that hot pavement, they're just sizzling like raw eggs. Good, die all of you. But I think you can see here. It's hard for me to tell what the camera's picking up, but if you can see what I can see. It's, uh, it's bad. Real, real, real bad. Wax moth. Wax moth, wax moth, wax moth. The bane of my existence. All right, here we are for the grand finale. The bottom box. You can see all of these little bastards. I don't like you using that word, but yes. All on the inside of this box. Just chaos. Absolute chaos. Look at all the get a little bit of light. Look at them just lined up side by side by side by side by side at the parking at the mall. And look at all the ones that have found their way to the pavement. Die. Boil. Feel the pain. Wish I had chickens. Alright. You've probably seen enough grossness. God knows I have. This is Josh in Plano, Texas.